Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, 14 to 28. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon left, the man who had been mute spoke. The crowd was amazed. But some of them said, By Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. Others tested him by asking for a sign from heaven. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Any kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and a house divided against itself will fall. If Satan is divided against himself, how can this kingdom stand? I say this because you claim that I drive out demons by Beelzebub. Now, if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your followers drive them out? So then, they will be your judges. But if I drive out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his own house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides his plunder. Who is never with, not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. It is good for us to know on whose side we stand on, with Jesus or not with Jesus. It's okay to ask him questions and to wonder, and I do that a lot. But at some point, you have to make a stand especially in the great conflict between good and evil in this world. And it's not about people, it's about principalities and powers of the air. It's a spiritual battle between good and evil. And what's at stake is our hearts and our soul and our commitment. Are we for the enemy or are we for God? And in this story, we talk about people who are in the midst of the battle and they don't know friend from foe. They don't know if Christ has come to save or to lead them astray. They don't know if he's dangerous or if he's good. <laughs> C.S. Lewis said, he's both. He's good and dangerous. We love the Lord, for he has brought the kingdom of God. He has power over evil, and we don't have it ourselves. But when we receive him as our king and lord, the kingdom has come upon us. And he gives us power and authority to overcome evil in our lives. Those voices, those tendencies, and everything wicked, we can defeat it. If we would make our stand and be bold in Jesus Christ. For that is why he has come to bring his kingdom upon us. Let us pray. Jesus, uh, we face overwhelming odds against the darkness of this world for the evil that is all about us and even in us. Lord, by your grace we are saved, but it is by your power we need to be delivered. And we need deliverance now, not just us, but the ones we love about us. Deliverance from the lies and deceptions of the enemy, from their corruption, and from their influence on the way we think, how we feel, and what we desire that we would not be perverted away from the one true God, the one true path, the one true light. Lord, we would not be as confused as these people were and as the world is around us, for as it gets lost more and more in evil, it seems more and more confused about what is real. But Lord, we find in you the truth that sets us free. Be our truth, be our Lord, be our Savior, and help us to take authority over the enemy, that he might flee from us when we resist him. We pray this in your name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That name is above all names. It is a powerful name, the name of Jesus. I hope you would cling to it, call on him. It's not magic. It's a relationship. And you can begin it today. If you would seek him, you will find him. If you will call to him, he will answer. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed Vespers tonight. 
and want to share it with someone else. If you would, hit the share button below, send a link in an email, tell other people about our evening vespers so they can be a part of our ever-growing family of faith Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you, as always, to keep the faith and to share it too. God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.